A few months ago, I moved out of my old place where I had a tiny studio with very little storage space. I used to store all of my stationery in random places like my closet or in boxes under my bed, but now I finally moved into a new apartment where I have plenty of space to finally properly organize my stationery and I wanted to share the whole process with you. I also want to say huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. There's a link to a two month free trial in the description, but more on that later. So I got this unit from Ikea and I thought it was perfect because not only is it highly customizable, meaning you can fit shelves, drawers, or boxes of different shapes and sizes and colors, but you can also use it as a display or for decorations. So it's really versatile and it was also pretty easy and straightforward to install. I think it only took me under an hour. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello. The first thing I did was to install three sets of drawers in the bottom half of the unit. Everything else about this unit is interchangeable and customizable later on, except for these drawers because you do have to screw them in. At the bottom I chose these simple white boxes for storing larger items or miscellaneous stuff. And lastly, I installed this additional shelf, which simply slides into the bigger squares. Because I had just moved in, everything was either in boxes or bags, and I couldn't really get the bigger picture of how much stuff I had and what should go where. So I started by taking everything out and organizing it in piles on the floor. I find this is a good strategy for any kind of organization project because it gives you a clear idea of how much stuff you have in each category and where they could fit best and you can find appropriate storage solutions for everything. I also use this as an opportunity to declutter and either donate or recycle the stuff that I didn't use anymore, got rid of the pens and markers that had dried out and so on. Hello. To organize my washi tapes, I found this acrylic unit on Amazon, which is actually meant for organizing sunglasses, but the drawers have these compartments that are perfect for storing washi tape and they are also deep enough for them to stand next to each other vertically. My washi tape collection isn't too extensive at the moment and it's not fast growing at all, but if you do tend to collect any kind of stationery, you should consider the extra space for expansion. I did try to organize them by color and style, although they're all pretty neutral anyways. I used to organize my pens in the storage unit that I made myself and I do have a DIY video on it which I will link up in the corner, but I've had it for a few years now and it's been through several moves so it wasn't in the best condition, so I decided to replace it with these acrylic organizers. These are meant for organizing paper, but I thought they would be great for displaying my markers. Show me where the end. I also have a video on my entire pen collection. It's been pretty much the same since like four years ago when I filmed that video. And since then, I've actually gotten rid of the supplies that I wasn't using anymore. And I've also tried to be much more intentional with the supplies that I purchase now. This isn't necessarily the most space efficient or accessible way of storing these, but I don't use them too often, so it works at the moment. I used a small storage unit for all of my black pens, fineliners, and miscellaneous pens. These are actually kind of the backups because a lot of these came in sets, but the ones that I use on a daily basis I do keep in my desk drawer for easy access. And I do actually go through some of these pretty quickly. Wooden stamps are always kind of hard to store because of their different shapes and sizes, but I found this clear organizer that has a deeper drawer at the bottom, which was perfect for storing my larger sets of alphabet stamps. Hello, Mona. I push back the serious feeling. The ends unknown. I also used the lids of the wooden stamp boxes to organize my smaller stamps.
Towards the top I stored my ink pads and stamping blocks and then some scrap of paper in the other drawers. This has stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. I use my clear stamps quite a lot so I needed to store them in a way that I can quickly browse through them. So I got an A5 binder that I filled with clear pockets. I pasted the back film of the stamps onto pieces of paper so that I can see them better and so that they also don't slide around inside of the pockets. I did this to all of the stamps and then I put them into the sleeves, trying to kind of organize them by category like date stamps, letter stamps, decorative stamps and so on. This way you can quickly flip through the folder and see all of the stamps that you have and they're also very easy to put in and out. I have a lot of sets of loose stickers which are quite hard to use because you can't really see them when they're all bundled up in their packs. So I got a big folder that I filled with clear sleeves that have individual double-sided pockets. These are actually meant for storing trading cards and stuff like that, but I filled them with pieces of paper so that I could see the stickers better. And then I just started taking out all of my stickers out of their packs and put them into the little pockets. It is a bit of a tedious process, especially if you have even more stickers than I do, but I actually found it quite relaxing and now every time I'll get a new sticker pack, it'll be much easier to add it in here. And once again, you can flip through the folder and see all of the stickers that you have at a glance. It's much easier to use them this way because you don't have to go through and open all those little sticker packs and put them back every time. I also got this smaller photo album which I used to store all of my sticker sheets, scrap paper and stickers that were too big to fit in the other folder. Show me where the ending goes on it. I stored all of my craft supplies in the drawers and I used these small acrylic organizers to kind of organize everything by category or size and this also helps to prevent everything from sliding around when you open and close the drawers. And then I just put my label making supplies in the drawer below. In one of the boxes at the bottom I stored all of my notebooks that are either new or completed. I used to have a ton more notebooks, especially because I did a huge comparison video, but I did give most of those away because there was virtually no way I was going to use them all, so I just kept the ones that I have now. In the other two boxes I stored either electronics or miscellaneous items like my laminator, headphones, external hard drives and audio equipment. And I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Mona. I push back the series. Before I get into the final steps of decorating and showing you how everything turned out, I really wanted to share with you guys a class that was a huge source of inspiration for me throughout this new year. It's actually a productivity masterclass on Skillshare from Ali Abdal. He's a doctor, a YouTuber, and runs his own business, so in this class he shares principles and strategies to boost your productivity. One of the biggest takeaways from me was that I'm not being limited by time, but instead I'm being limited by my own choices of what I do with my time. Honestly, the class is extremely resourceful, but it's broken down into shorter lessons, at the end of which he leaves you with a prompt for reflective writing. Skillshare has thousands of other classes on a large variety of subjects and throughout the years I've learned everything from drawing, lettering and animation to even editing my videos. And as someone who is completely self-taught in all of these subjects, their online learning platform has been a huge resource. It's also curated specifically for learning so there are no ads and it's a very supportive and empowering community of curious people. The annual subscription is less than $10 a month, but the first link in the description will give you a two months free trial of premium membership so you can take as many classes as you want. It is limited to the first 1000 people, so don't forget to check it out. So after everything was done and organized, I started to play around with arranging everything within the unit to try to make it look good and to decorate it a bit. I also finished organizing my sketchbooks and paintbrushes and just everything else that needed a place. Hello, Mona. I 
push back the serious feeling The end's unknown To get back the life I used to know I also changed the drawer knobs with these gold ones because I felt like they went better with the vibe of the rest of the room. It's not a huge difference, but it's a very easy way to change things up. I do have some empty drawers at the moment, but I'm sure they will get filled with stuff as time goes on. Finally, I used my label maker to make labels for all the different drawers and boxes and folders. This is not only for functionality purposes, although at first it was kind of hard to remember where I had placed everything, so these did come in handy, but I just also like the way that it looks. This whole setup will probably change and evolve as I continue to use everything and maybe I'll figure out new and better ways to store everything. But until then, I really hope you enjoyed watching me put all of this together. It was definitely a bigger project than I thought it was gonna be, but I'm so grateful I was finally able to properly organize everything and make it look nice. I'll have links to most of the stuff that I showed in this video, apart from the actual stationery because they're just way too much stuff. But if you have any questions, do check out the description box first and also don't forget to check out the link for Skillshare. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys! There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need